hey guys so today i am showing you how i do my makeup on a flight i used to like put makeup on before i fly i don't even bother with that especially since i've been having like a lot of either long flights or early morning or red eye flights i'm like i just don't want that on my skin while i'm flying i am showing you guys how i do like a quick 10 minute no mirror makeup on a flight this is normally what i do like as we're starting our descent so i'll be filming this actually on my trip to japan and those of you guys who follow me on instagram will probably have already seen a few pictures from japan up on that if you guys don't follow me make sure that you go follow me there so that you don't miss any like weird little tidbits and things and then since i am doing a trip to japan i've been vlogging and i have like a vlog up from la I have another vlog coming out this week on my Japan vlog, so make sure that you guys go subscribe to my second channel for my vlogs. And now that I'm done giving myself shoutouts, I'm going to get on with the video. Excuse my like scared face here, I had 45 minutes left in like a 13 hour flight. So I'm starting off with my Glossier Stretch Concealer in the color Lights, and I'm just using my finger to spread some of that under my eyes, get rid of some of those dark circles from the flights. And this is like a super natural concealer, so I'm just putting it on any spots that I know I might need a little bit of help in. And then I'm setting that with my Glossier Wouter in the color Light in a dry beauty blender, mainly because I forgot a brush. And I'm just using that to set under my eyes and then get rid of any like other shininess or anything I have on my face from the flights. Again, this was like 13 hour flight, so I was a little bit shiny. Going on to my favorite thing, I'm using my Becca Beach tint in the color Guava and just putting a dot of that on my finger before rubbing it into my cheeks. And excuse my cheeks here, they flush really, really easily, so it's not as bright as it looks. And then I'm curling my lashes with my Kevin Kwan lash curler, by far my favorite. Best lash curler, in my opinion, on the market. Go buy it now and you'll love me forever. And then after that, I am going in with this Makeup Forever shadow and one of their brushes as well. And I'm using this shimmery shadow only on uh, like my lids and a little bit into the crease. And I'm just putting a very, very sheer layer of that onto my eye. And I'm only using this one shade. But this shade is amazing for that like single eyeshadow look and it just gives you the right amount of definition literally without even having to use a mirror. And then for lashes, I'm using this L'Oreal Double Extend Lash Tubes Mascara, and this part was a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I didn't use my phone for this, but I'm just going to put both of those like layers of mascara on my eyes. And then I'm using my La Mer Lip Balm. Again, another product that I think is like one of the best on the market. You should go buy it, it's amazing. I love it so much. I'm just sticking some of that on my lips. I was using it the entire flight. Then I'm using this Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Mocha and I'm doing a little bit of contour. This I would maybe not recommend so much to not use a mirror for. I kind of cheated and used the camera screen. I'm just like blending it out on my cheeks and I dragged it like under my chin a little bit and a little bit onto my forehead as well. I just wanted like a little bit of definition. For brows, I'm using the Hourglass Cosmetics Arch Brow Voluminizing Fiber Gel in the color Soft Brunettes. And I did cheat on this one again <laughs> and use my phone because brows are hard. And I just wanted to like add a little bit of more definition and volume to them. And then going back into another Fenty matchstick in the color Starstruck, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll leave it linked below. I'm just sticking some of this on to my cheekbones and blending it out with my finger. And then sticking a little bit of it on my lips and like the inner corner of my eye as well. And then to finish the look off, I'm going back into my beach tint and getting a dot of that and then just sticking some of that on my lips. This creates the most beautiful like matte lip, especially if you put it on over a lip balm. It's just super moisturizing and beautiful. And this is the finished look. And it's just something that's super easy and simple. It literally took me 10 minutes from start to finish to do it on the plane, of course. This video is shorter because I cut it down so that there was not like boring stuff in it but it's just something to give you like a little bit extra freshness when you get off the plane you're not sticking anything too crazy on your face or too heavy giving you a little bit of life after 13 hours or six hours or an hour or whatever flight time you're on I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching I have all the products linked in the description below along with my other social media 
please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to leave me a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video